What's going on, guys? And welcome to a special episode of starting the backyard movie theater business during a pandemic where we focus today on the equipment. So many people, look, I've read your DMs, I've read your comments, I've read your personal emails and messages asking me, look, what do you use? What projectors do you prefer? What speakers do you like? You know, what screens do you use? All these questions come up again and again. So today I'm going to take some time and discuss what I use. Now, keep in mind, this is some of the equipment I started with. I'm not saying that this is all that I use today, but it's a good starting place, especially if you're starting a business or if you're a person that's looking to spend on a budget and build a backyard movie theater. If you're trying to have an outdoor movie night, a movie night at home with your family, with your friends, maybe an event at the church or some organization that you're a part of, this review will help you out because at least it will let you know how to get quality pictures, quality sound, even if you're not spending a lot of money. And listen, when it comes to pricing, we're talking about projectors that are all uh, under the price of $600. And we're talking about speakers that all fall beneath $200. So we'll see where it goes. Hopefully this is useful for you. Make sure you like, share, and comment. Make sure you let other people know who are interested in this business to watch this video because it's a review, ultimately, whether you're getting in the business or you're doing something for yourself, it's a review. Hopefully, it'll help you out. All right, guys, so let's get to it. We're going to start with the projectors and I'm going to start with my Acer because it's my workhorse. This is an Acer H65. 31BD. Again, my Acer H6531, B as in boy, D as in dog. This is my workhorse. This is the projector that no matter where my show is, no matter what type of show it is, if it's indoors, outdoors, if it's in the tent, no matter where it's at, this projector comes through every time. It produces a beautiful native 1080p picture. Uh, it's certainly great with sound. It produces a great sound and it has an audio out slot. So you can put your input in there and certainly you can get a sound out of it and hook up your speakers to it. Uh, it has HDMI, at least, uh, let me see, two HDMI ports. One I use for streaming, the other one I use for a direct connection. It's a great projector. Uh, some of the specs, 3,500 lumens, which is pretty good. You want at least 3,000 when you're working outdoors so that, look, it's not going to show during the daytime without covering, but it will show without uh let's say it, the need for it to be pitch black outside. Uh, contrast ratio is 10,001. This is actually my lowest contrast ratio projector, but it still comes up pretty good. The blacks are really black. The colors are well. So I wouldn't say that uh, I would prefer 10,001, but it does get the job done. And this is a DLP projector. All of my projectors are DLP projectors. So keep that in mind as we go through this video. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. No, in fact, I didn't, I'm sorry. I bought this at Micro Center a couple, not a couple, about a year ago. And it cost me, it was on clearance, it was open box. I think it cost me about 350 bucks. Today it runs about 500. So that's what you would spend on this projector if you don't find a deal about 500 bucks. But obviously it's worth it. It's made me money. And if you wanna set up a show in your backyard and you want a great picture just for yourself, look, this is a great inexpensive projector that gets the job done. And I have not in a year had to change the bulb. That's very important. I have not had to change the bulb. You don't want a projector where you have to constantly buy new bulbs because you're spending more money and more money and more money. And if you're on a budget or if you're a business, you don't want that to be a part of your reoccurring expenses, especially if you're just starting and you want to make money. So keep that in mind. That's projector number one. Again, the Acer H6531, B as in boy, D as in dog. When we get to the second projector, let's go to our ViewSonic. Okay, this is the uh, ViewSonic. PA503W. Again, ViewSonic, P as in Paul, A as in Alpha, 503, W as in whis not whiskey, <laughs> whatever. But uh, look, this projector is one of my favorite projectors to use when I can't get it but so dark outside, meaning I'm using my uh, tents, I'm building one, or I'm using my inflatable room. This is one of my projectors that I prefer because Honestly, it just gets the job done uh, more often than not. Uh, when it comes to the lumens, we're talking about 3,600 lumens. So of my three projectors, this one has slightly more lumens, ANSI lumens, by the way, 
than my other projectors. And uh, the contrast ratio is what really wins with this projector. It's 22,000 to one. And if you don't understand what I'm saying with contrast ratios, if you want your darks to be dark, if you want your colors to really pop, you need a great contrast ratio. And the higher to one the number is, the better. So 22,000 to one compared to my Acer, which was 10,000 one, means this one can produce vibrant and, and, and just great colors, which is important if you're having your own show or if you have a business where you're going to show something, because no matter what they plug up to this thing, I don't care if it's a, a laptop, I don't care if it's a streaming, I don't care if it's a whatever it is, if it's going in that HDMI port, it's coming out well. The only thing I would say about this is this projector in particular has one HDMI port instead of two. It does have an audio out, so you can put your aux cord in and you can certainly get sound out of it. But I would prefer that they had multiple ones on there because I like to switch from one to the other for shows. But nevertheless, it gets the job done. Uh, this is also another workhorse uh, that I use, and it wasn't uh, very expensive. I believe I bought it around Christmas time. Maybe it wasn't even Christmas. It was before that. Uh, but I purchased it for about $2.99. It was on sale. And today it runs for about $400. Okay, ViewSonic isn't known as the best brand, but it, it gets the job done. The bulb has not uh, dimmed at all. It's worked consistently. And sometimes I use it in my own house. When I want to do my own show, when I want to just watch something on my wall and I put the screen up, usually I pull this one out because it gets the job done. It certainly streams well and it does well whenever I hook the cable box or anything up to it. Okay, and the last projector is the N-Focus. Uh, let me make sure I get it right. N116A. Again, the N-Focus in 116a is an alpha uh this is my first projector before i started a business this is the one i had for my home it uh probably only cost me about 200 bucks at the time it's about 400 now and if you can find it this is not one that gets produced anymore but if you can find it it is a workhorse it is a projector that works really well and the bulbs are inexpensive when it comes to changing it uh, some of the stats on this one, this has 3,000 lumens. So this has the least amount of lumens compared to my other two projectors. And it's 15,000 to one contrast ratio, which makes it a little bit better contrast ratio than my Acer. But again, it is certainly something that I would say is worth the cost. Uh, it is a DLP, just to put that out there. And again, this is my oldest projector. This projector is probably now, for me, about five years old. And I had to change the bulb once to get it to work correctly. But for the most part, it's lasted uh, throughout the years. And this is, again, what I started my business with. Before I had these other two projectors and business was growing, this is what I started with. And for my own personal use, this was my first projector, okay, for you. And it works outdoors. It works indoors. It works really well. However, I will say it's not as good as these other two. Um, I do like the InFocus brand. I like the quality of their projectors uh, just as much as I like the Acers. I think if you spend more money on an in-focus for a higher end in-focus, you can get a great projector. Uh, they It's produced great sound. This one also only has one HDMI port. Uh, it still has an audio out, so it gets the job done. Make sure, that is very key, guys. If you wanna use your projector for sound itself, you're not gonna get the best sound. You're not gonna get that movie theater thump, you're not going to get the real sound that you need. You need to make sure that you can hook this up. It has an external port so that it allows you to project sound from something else. You need to add speakers to these things if you want the show to be the best type of show that you can have, or just make sure whatever you're broadcasting from, whatever you're showing from, can Bluetooth into a better speaker. Because relying on these speakers alone, ah, you're going to fail. You're not going to do well. You're going to lose money. Customers are going to talk about you. And if you're doing it at home and you have guests over, it's just not going to get the job done. So keep that in mind. But guys, those are the projectors. Again, just going over them again. The Acer H6531B is in boy, D is in dog. The ViewSonic PA503W. Uh, again, PA503W. And the InFocus uh, in. 116A, the InFocus N116A. Those are my three projectors. Uh, the most expensive one, again, was the Acer. Uh, today it's 500. The other two are about 400. So we're talking about uh, roughly $1,300 between three projectors that get the job done. And they certainly earn us more than $1,300 when you look at the yearly uh, income, income and revenue that we bring in. But let's move on to the speakers. We've done, we've dealt with the projectors. 
we've uh, talked a lot about lumens. We've talked about, about the need for an audio out for sound. Well, if you're going to have an audio out, it's nice to have speakers to hook them up to. So let's go over the speakers. The one in front of me here, this is the Pile uh, P5 BT. 125A. Again, the Pile uh, P5 BT 125A. This is a 1200 watt speaker with a 12 inch sub and a three inch treble. Uh, I could tell you something. Look, this hasn't been my best speaker, but it's been consistent. It gets the job done. Uh, if I have a large outdoor showing where I put up my 33 foot screen, 40 foot screen, look, I couldn't use this one by itself, but in tandem with other speakers it works well it produces pretty good bass i won't say it's the best bass out of all three speakers that i have in front of you but it does produce sufficient bass so you're going to feel it everyone that's going to watch something will get the movie theater experience with this speaker so keep that in mind and this speaker runs roughly uh 140 dollars okay, you can find that on amazon you can find that i believe in uh, Walmart, you can find it pretty much anywhere, but it's about 140 bucks, which I think is fair based on what you get from it. It's worked well for me. Uh, the second uh, speaker that I'll go over is the Acoustic Audio AA15LBS. Uh, Again, the Acoustic Audio AA15LBS. This is a uh, 1000 watt speaker, a 15 inch sub, uh, two inch, tweeter and uh, a two, I'm sorry, a two inch tweeter. And all of these, by the way, have 3.5 millimeter inputs. So you can put your aux cord in the back of them. They also are Bluetooth speakers. Uh, this one, I would say produces great sound. It produces great bass, uh, very powerful speaker, even though it's a thousand watts. Um, this has been very reliable for me. And this has worked at, at any show that I've done. It doesn't matter if it's a large 200, 300 plus crowd, if it's just 15 people, Sometimes when I'm doing smaller shows, this speaker can work as a standalone, just like this speaker. But this has uh, worked out pretty well for me. It's, I would say if I reviewed it uh, and gave it a star rating, it's probably a four out of five for me. The first one I would say is more like a three and a half out of five, and this one is a four out of five. And also all these speakers come with microphones and that works great for events because you'd be surprised how many people just wanna speak on a microphone and be heard at these birthday parties and these celebrations. So keep that in mind. And the third speaker is my uh, ION IPA114. Again, my ION IPA114. This is the most expensive speaker that I have, $180. 15-inch woofer, 1-inch tweeter. And uh, this one is uh, a bi-amplified speaker. So though the wattage seems lower, it's bi-amplified. So to me, this is actually the highest quality and best speaker I have when it comes to producing sounds, that surround sound, when it comes to that theater thump that you want, when you want to feel some rumble, I can sit this on the ground, face it flat down, and you can feel it in the ground. I can leave it up and you can feel the vibration. Uh, it comes out clear and crisp. This is my uh, favorite speaker to you because it's worked in every event, every venue, anything that I've ever done. This is my four and a half out of five for speakers that are less than 200 bucks. Again, this one is 180, but all of them are less than 200 bucks. I would say this is a 4.5 out of five for speakers that are less than 200 bucks. This right here is a four. This is a three and a half, but even the three and a half works when it comes to producing great sound. Uh, going back to the projectors real quick, if I had to rate those um, five being best, I would say uh, for under $1,000, I would say the Acer, uh, four out of five. I would give the ViewSonic a four out of five. The In Focus, I would say three and a half out of five. That would be my ratings. But you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think. You can let me know what you use. Uh, you use different equipment. If you tried it out, let me know in the review section. I don't get paid. I'm not sponsored by any company that produced any of these uh, pieces of equipment, whether it's the speakers, whether it's the projectors. Look, I was not offered any money. I have not been paid to display what I use. This is simply to help you. Hopefully it's giving you some guidance. If you're going to produce a backyard movie theater for yourself, if you're going to do one for a business, hopefully this helps you guys. I have upgraded. Keep in mind, I have upgraded, but I still use this equipment. It still works. It helps me make money. It helps me put on a great show. If you don't choose the right speakers, you don't choose the right projectors, your show isn't going to go well.
So keep that in mind as you make your purchases. This is not expensive equipment. It'll produce a lot for you and you'll definitely get your money's worth. All right, guys, until the next time, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you let as many people as you know, know about this channel. We appreciate your support. Make sure you support. I want to make more videos. I want to make more content, but I need your support. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, support us. Thank you. And I'll see you at the next time.